Honor, duty and commitment are what it takes to lead an entire crew into harm's way and still return victorious. It's been a successful career for an Air Force general who is the longest serving general and is now ready for retirement. News 13's Paint Low Cicero tells us this marks a day in Air Force history. Trumpets sounded and flags flew as Lieutenant General Brad Heithold made his final salute after serving for 44 years in the Air Force. Uh, my entire youthful years were dedicated to the service of this country in the United States Air Force. And so really today is encapsulates really all 44 years of extremely a proud service to the country. Hundreds of distinguished military guests and the chief of staff for the United States Air Force gathered to celebrate as Heithold officially entered into retirement. He enlisted in the Air Force in 1974 and was commissioned in 1981. 44 years later, Heithold has an outstanding list of accomplishments. To be quite honest with you, I would have perhaps retired a few years ago, but when, a, when you get a call that says, we need you to do this, you continue to serve because they ask you. So it's anytime you place anywhere, not only in a war zone, but also in war zones like the Pentagon. When asked what it takes to make it in the Air Force and how he made it for 44 years, he answered with a smile. I would go any place, anywhere, anytime. All you got to do is call on this Air Commando. Heithold says he has several new adventures planned during his retirement and plans to call Okaloosa County his permanent home. At Herbert Field, I'm Peyton Lucicero, News 13. The Air Force Special Operations motto is anytime, anywhere, and Heidhold says he would still lead his crews with that motto 